Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss a very important topic that why the transformer does not rotate like an induction motor while both have the same principle. If we will observe the transformer and the three phase induction motor, we will find many similarities between them. Let us first check what are the similarities between the three phase transformer and three phase induction motor and after getting the information of all this similarity we will try to analyze that why after having so much similarities between three phase transformer and three phase induction motor but why the transformer secondary winding not experiencing any rotating force like three phase induction motor i hope you got the question the question is very simple that why the secondary winding of the transformer not experiencing any force but in case of the three phase induction motor the rotor which is equivalent to the secondary winding of the transformer is experiencing force to rotate this is our question in order to better understand this topic let us first discuss what are the similarities between the three phase induction motor and three phase transformer in three phase induction motor there is a stator winding in the three phase transformer there is a primary winding which is equivalent to each other in three phase induction motor there is a rotor winding in three phase transformer there is a secondary winding this blue color is representing the secondary winding in the transformer and this circle there is a bar short circuited bar in case of a squirrel cage induction motor and uh, slipping type induction motor there will be winding in the rotor so the rotor winding here in the three phase induction motor and there is a secondary winding in the three phase transformer which is equivalent to each other the third thing is the working principle of the induction motor is a electromagnetic induction in case of transformer also the working principle is same that is the electromagnetic induction the fourth similarity is between the three phase induction motor is that when we increase the load on the transfer uh, in the three phase induction motor then the rotor will draw high current and accordingly the stator also will start drawing the high current in case of transformer when we will increase the load on the transformer then the secondary winding of the transformer will start drawing high current and accordingly the primary winding of the transformer also start drawing high current so the similarities is same the behavior is same for increased load in case of three phase induction motor and in case of three phase transformer if you will see the equivalent circuit for the three phase induction motor and the equivalent circuit for the three phase transformer you will find that they are very similar to each other almost all things are similar in case of three phase induction motor the power supply is a three phase power supply and the characteristic of the power supply is same as the three phase three phase power supply which we are giving to the transformer meaning the r phase y phase and blue phase are displaced from each other by 120 degree here you can see that r phase and y phase is displaced by 120 degree in same way the y phase and blue phase is also displaced by each other by 120 degree in case of transformer also the supplying power have the same characteristic might be the magnitude will be change magnitude of the voltage might be the change but the characteristic of the three phase power supply in case of induction motor and in case of transformer is same so these are the similarities between the three phase induction motor and three phase transformer the only difference between the three phase induction motor and three phase transformer is the winding arrangement in the three phase induction motor if you will observe you will find that each winding are also physically displaced by other winding by 120 degree here the r winding is displaced by yellow winding by 120 degree and in same way the yellow winding is displaced by the blue winding by 120 degree this displacement is called a space displacement a space displacement but in case of transformer we find that the hv winding these are the hv winding which is equivalent to the stator winding which we, which we talk here r y b these are the hv winding red colors these are not displaced by each other by any angle all having a zero degree displacement all are concentric if you will see there is no angle between the 
three phase primary winding of the transformer hope you understood till here if you will observe the secondary winding of the transformer then which is denoted in blue color then you will notice that the secondary winding and the primary winding of the transformer is concentric to each other but in case of induction motor three phase induction motor the rotor winding is placed in center of the three phase stator winding in order to have the rotating magnetic field two condition must satisfy the first condition is that the windings should have the space displacement between them like in the three phase induction motor there is a space displacement between the each winding like r to yellow yellow to blue and the second mandatory condition to have rotating magnetic field is that the power supply should have also the phase displacement of 120 degree here the power supply which we are giving to the induction motor have a phase displacement of 120 degree so in the case of three phase induction motor all the two conditions are satisfied that is in the winding there is a space displacement and in the power supply there is a phase displacement in order to have the rotating magnetic field but in case of transformer there is the phase displacement between the power supply phases like from r to y y to b there is a space displacement of 120 degree but in the winding there is no any space displacement here all the winding hv winding which is called also the primary winding has no any space displacement are all three windings are zero degree displaced okay so the second condition in the transformer not get satisfied so in the transformer there is no rotating magnetic field developed but unlike three phase induction motor it's satisfying both the conditions so there is a rotating magnetic field in the stator winding so far we understand that in the three phase induction motor there is a rotating magnetic field as you can see that in the stator winding there is a rotating magnetic field due to this rotating magnetic field the rotor bar experience force and the rotor start rotating if you want to know in very deep how the rotor start rotating then watch my video of star delta concept and the video related to why the three phase induction motor is a self starting machine link will be in the description box but for time being just you understand that as in the three phase induction motor there is a rotating magnetic field and this rotating magnetic field cutting the rotor bars of the rotor and due to that the rotor experience force to rotate and the rotor start rotated so we can say that there is a rotor experiencing a force to rotate in the three phase induction motor but as we seen in the three phase transformer there is no concept of rotating magnetic field rmf here the magnetic field which is developed due to the primary winding it's linking with the secondary winding but the nature of this magnetic flux is not rotating but pulsating due to the pulsative nature of the magnetic field in the three phase transformer the secondary winding will not experience any force as the field is pulsative and every time it is changing its direction i hope you got the concept that why the transformer does not rotate like induction motor as i explained you that in the three phase induction motor there is a rotating magnetic field developed but in case of three phase transformer there is no any rotating magnetic field but the pulsating magnetic field and i explained the reason also behind this developing of rotating magnetic field in case of three phase induction motor and the pulsating magnetic field in case of transformer as we seen also in this video the similarities between the three phase transformer and three phase induction motor three phase induction motor is also called rotating transformer because there is much similarities between the three phase transformer and three phase induction motor i hope you find my video informative and you learn something new from this video If you like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please share with your electrical friends we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much